Hey guys, welcome back to Bigma V, second block. We are actually trying to do something um, very different today. We will cook lobster. Now, if you really think about lobster, what is the, all the famous chef like uh, Thomas Keller, uh, Elaine Duras, Maria Rattoli, all those crazy, crazy, crazy chef actually did cook lobster with butter call it butter post lobster so today our goal is to make the butter post lobster and instead of butter we will use the big monkey again big all right before we start cooking i just want to introduce you um, a few ingredients that we uh selected first of course the big monkey and we have our uh, some fresh uh, vegetables charred mustard flour, cilantro, kefir, lime leaf, and here we have some uh, onion, zucchini, carrots, tomato, and potato. We will eventually come to it in a minute. Um, as I say, I, this the whole video is actually not to tell you how to cook. We are experimenting how to use the ghee, the desi ghee, to cook all those yummy food instead of butter. And our first segment was with uh, ribeye steak, which has turned out to be an awesome, awesome one that we really, really loved it. Now, um, we will go to the lobster. All right, let's meet the Harry and Carrie. We have two different sizes of lobster. Uh, we have a boiling water, of course. We have to boil those two bad guys. Uh, before that, uh, it is very, very important for, uh, if you wanna boil anything, that including potatoes or anything at all, the best things to do is add some salt to the boiling water. And of course, I would like to add uh, some ghee to it. It wouldn't do anything to the lobster, just uh, as a controlling the temperature of the water. Now, what we're gonna do is take this lobster, let them swim for about Yeah, it was about three to five minutes. Right. In the meat point, what I would do is I'm just gonna um, use the kefir lime leaf. If you wanna use a fresh lemon lime or whatever you you, you like. Um, the reason actually, it will um, take up the smell of the fishiness or the fish smell uh, from the lobster. All right, in the meantime, we are ready with our um, other ingredients. You just uh, chop some tomatoes, some yellow onion, carrots, um, some um, garlic uh, leaves has another name for it, I don't know, I forgot. Cilantro and some zucchini. And also we do have our, uh, some potatoes, uh, some zucchini slices, and we haven't uh, done anything with this sweet jar actually. Yeah, now when your lobster turn, kind of a, what color is it? Reddish yellow, yellow red color. Uh, turn off your stove, uh, let put the lobster into an ice box because you do not want to overcook the, the All right, so uh, the most hardest part is to actually deshell the lobster. Uh, I just take a few pieces and uh, the rest we will uh, deal with it later. Just got the tail part and some um, shredded part. I actually purposely shredded it because um, what we will do is when we come to cooking the lobster or posting the lobster with the ghee, um, I would like um, to chunk actually goes with the vegetables. All right, uh, turn your stove to about medium heat and I have the elliptical stub which is uh, a little difficult to control but uh, I put it in the medium now um, you don't need to be generous when you're putting the geese uh, like good amount because as I said we're gonna poach the lobster so while um, your geese heating up uh, I just wanted to say two words. As I said, this is not a cooking show. Uh, it's an experiment of using ghee. And uh, why Big Ma ghee is better than any other ghee that you can find on the store. Because the first thing, the aroma of the ghee is excellent. The perfume of it is just it's caramel, sweet, smooth, soothing smell of it. And um, 
the intensity of the ghee itself is very um, thick texture and is very um, what is the right word that I'm looking for? Very silkiness, very like any other ghee, you can feel the oil, you can feel um, kind of a bitter taste to it when you cook it, but the big ma ghee doesn't have that. That's what makes a difference from any other ghee that you can find in the market. Sorry, I'm um, videotaping with one hand, other hand. I couldn't grow, um, use the the pink Himalayan a pink salt. Um, so you missed that part. So put a decent amount of salt as you taste and uh, some black pepper as your ghee is sitting up. And understand lobster is the most dedicated fish um, that you can buy from the store. What I would do is have it in a very medium heat, let it uh, float in the ghee. Now I'm gonna add uh, some of those garlic um, leaves, some cilantro if you like, and have some fresh garlic floating on the side. All right, um, I put uh, your, uh, squeeze a little lime, lemon, uh, if you don't have a lemon, you can use a lime. And uh, just cook it for a few minutes. Understand, your lobster is almost pickled, but remember, when you are boiling the lobster, do not overcook it. I actually did overcook a little this time and um, have it a little undercooked so it will easy to come out of the shell and also when you cook it because if you overcook the lobster uh, it's going to be too chewy uh, very gummy it's not going to be that tasty all right my lobster is out of the stove i still have that ghee floating goodness you can add a little more if you like but i'll just leave it up to that now um what i'm going to do is i'm going to add my uh, onion. Now if you want, you can just uh, put a little less than high heat and tomatoes, some uh, carrots, some uh, have some zucchini and potato, I'll eat it, uh, I'll put them in a minute. So let it uh, shimmer it a little, just saute it nicely. Now what I would do is, before I cook my lobster, I have some uh, some of those lobster legs, and some tails, this is basically for uh, for decoration, I'm just gonna Toss it a little. I will uh, diesel up white wine. It's totally up to you if you want to use it or not. Uh, I do like to add a little. And um, frankly, when you cook, any alcohol is actually no longer alcohol anyway. So, but. It's totally up to your choice. Now, um, let it cook because the goal is all the flavor from the vegetables, you like them to come out and incorporate it with the ghee and give you the, the best of it. And when you add the lobster, of course, it will enhance it a little more. So my next ingredient will be a little bit of paprika, a little touch of all spice or garam masala, whatever you call it. Just a little touch of it. The the reason I'm putting it, as I said, I would like to have a um, twist of desi flavor, but if you do not want it, totally up to you. And make sure, um, that's a bad time. Anyway, um, so let's add those chunk of um, lobster meat gonna let it saute for a while 
And I added a little more cilantro because I love cilantro. And if you do not like cilantro, it's totally fine. You can add um, any other spices you want. Like um. Now I'm gonna um, take a big chunk of vegetables. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is my choice, basically, because I want to decorate the food. And if you want to keep them together, totally fine. And my next and last ingredient, basically, this, uh, the chart. As I said, um, this is going to be our dinner, so we want to try to make it a little more heavier. But if you do not want to put anything else there, just put some rice on the side, however you like it. All right, so here we go, your um, big ma ghee post lobster with um, zucchini, uh, potatoes, chard, saute with ghee and um, carrots, onion, and uh, it looks yummy. We can't wait to try it, and of course we'll let you know. And thank you for watching. We are, uh, please write a comment your feedback how we can improve it one more time we are not doing a cooking vlog this is an experiment for uh, big ma ghee now uh, a little word from our uh, founder of the big ma ghee hi hi